So we're going to continue looking at different kinds of measures and converting between different kinds of measures. And hopefully you can see how they're very similar, the kind of calculations and the thought processes from, from one to another. And you'll be able to apply in lots of different ways. Uh, today, the focus is particularly on time. And we're going to finish with, well, hopefully you'll finish with a New Year's Eve challenge. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, let's get started. So where we left off yesterday that links to today, we were looking at conversions between time, units of time, and we were saying, for example, a minute is the same as uh, 60 seconds here. So of course, four minutes is 240 seconds because we're scaling up. So each time we have another minute, we have another 60 seconds. They're just different units of measure. And similarly, we looked at the example, well, if a day is 24 hours, two days must be two lots of that, 48 hours. Um, and again, this was an example that we looked at in converting between units. We have to think if I'm converting between minutes and seconds, well, how many minutes, I've got to think how many seconds will be in a minute. And I'll have to think, well, which is going to be more? Is it going to be more seconds or more minutes for the same period of time? And of course, it would be more seconds because seconds are shorter and each minute is longer. So it has lots of, well, it's got 60 seconds in it and so on. And again, 30 minutes. Um, as opposed to hours. Well, minutes are shorter and hours are longer, so it won't be as many hours. In fact, it's, it's even less than one here. Um, and similarly, converting between hours and days. Um, and then this was one of the questions that you had to go at, in, or, or you might have had to go at in the tasks. So 200 minutes, how many hours and how many minutes? Um, so I've got to think, this is linking back to our division. Well, how many full lots of uh, hours would there be? There'd be three full hours, that's 180 minutes and 20 minutes. Well, what about 200 hours? How many days and how many hours? Well, it would be eight full days because eight times 24 is 192. And then it would be another eight hours. Now, little warm up question for us. Would you rather? So have a think. So for each example, which would you rather? Which is better? Um, have a look at those examples and see if you can choose one for each. Pause the video. Okay, let's have a look and well finish a race in a time of three minutes or a time of 200 seconds Well each minute is 60 seconds. So three minutes is three lots of 60 180 seconds. That'll be faster than 200 seconds Go on a three-week holiday or a 20-day holiday. Now it might depend on how much you actually like your holidays I like being at home, but I guess I love my holidays as well and three weeks is three lots of seven days So that's slightly longer Um a hundred days or three months until your next birthday. Again, it might depend exactly how excited you are on your birthday, but three months is it's around about 30 days a month. So it's about 91, 92 days. Um, that'll be a bit closer than a hundred days away. And what about then a party two hours long or a hundred minutes long? Two hours is two lots of 60 minutes. So that'll be slightly longer. Now, today we're looking at time. We're doing some conversions around time with lots of challenges in time. Oh, and there's an extend question, which is really going to get you thinking. Now, it's ironic, really, that the title of the video is called Looking at Time, because actually I'm kind of making the point that time, you can't actually see it. It's very difficult to imagine even and draw. Um, we've, got, we've got timers where sand goes through. Um, these kind of funnels, you know, for this one, five minutes. But I can't really look at time. I can show it with lines. That's one of the best ways I can represent it. I can't really show it with dots because it changes so gradually. So let's say a child is nearly four. I could represent this is when they're born and then this would be when they become four. And I would say that they're three years old. Even though they're nearly four, they're nearer four than three, that I'd still say that they're three years old because that's like the number of completed years that we have. But you can see that that, that time of the age will kind of gradually build. And I can't see it. I can't really represent it. The line is the best way of, of, of seeing that. So again, calculating with time can be challenging. Now, of course, one thing that we have that we use for time is we, we have clocks. And what we essentially have here is this number line that kind of keeps going round and round and round this circle. And you notice it's split into 12 intervals. Now we know in an hour, 60 minutes. And 60 is a really important number when it comes to time. We're gonna be doing some calculation around 60. You're gonna to need to be experts in there. So let's just do a little warm up the links to last week. The single digit factors of 60. Um, so when you're dividing 60 by which these by each of these numbers, which one would not give you a remainder? Uh, pause the video, see which ones can you do immediately? Um, which ones might you need to do one or two calculations for? 
Okay, now there's a reason that 60 is used in time a lot, which we're, we're, we're about to see. Um, but I know that 1 and 2 and 5 and 6 are all factors of 60. Of course, uh, 1 for every uh, whole number. 2 um, is an even number. 5, when I keep counting up in 5s, I will get to 60, like 12 fives, like on this clock. And 6, 10 lots of 6 is 60. And then I just need to look at my other examples. And let, let's say 3 and 4. Well, actually, I know that, I know that 3 is as well. And so is 4. And um, 3 is 20 lots of... Um, 3 times 20 is 60. And 4... Um, well, each quarter, four lots of 15 would get me to 60. Um, seven and eight and nine actually aren't factors, but you can see 60 is a really useful number because it can be broken down in so many ways. And we're going to see why that's really helpful now. Um, now, again, in our conversions between time, we've got so many of these. Well, we've got these two 60s, seconds to minutes, minutes to hours, hours to days. Um, now, of course, 24 hours in a day, uh, seven days in a week. Um, weeks, well, it's just a bit more than four in most months, apart from February. Um, and then, of course, 12 months in a year. And we'll need to use those figures when we're converting between times. Um, now, have a look at these questions here. And again, we're going to come back to that number 60. Um, so have a look at these, see which of these questions you can calculate the answer to. And rank the questions by difficulty. Uh, what makes one harder or easier and why? Uh, pause the video and have a go. Okay, let's have a look. Well, 60 hours, how many days? Well, there I'd be thinking, well, one day, that's less than 60 hours, two days. I know that one day is 24 hours. And if I keep counting up in 24, so it would be less than three days. Um, well, two days is 48 hours. Uh, so it'll actually be exactly two and a half days. 48 hours, that's 12 hours left to, to make 60 hours. And that, of course, is half of 24 two and a half days. Maybe having that fraction in made it slightly more difficult. Uh, 60 seconds, how many minutes? Well, that's just one. I'm not giving you a picture for that one. Um, 60 days, how many weeks? Um, this time I'm thinking, well, 60 days, one week, that is seven days. So I have to think how many sets of a week are there in 60 days? And the picture helps to show that hopefully. And it's eight because seven times eight is 56 days. And then there'll be another four days. So perhaps, again, having that remainder makes it slightly more difficult. And the last question, 60 days, how many months? Well, it's a little bit of a tricky one, that one, because it's quite a straightforward calculation because a month is about 30 days. Um, so, But it depends on how long the month is because some months are longer, some are 31 days. February is only 28 days. So you could say that's the hardest one um, because it is... You, you can't be exactly sure. You might say, well, it's about two months. It depends there on the level of precision that you're working into. Now, these questions are a little bit different. Um, I wonder, can you tell the screen now? Again, feel free to pause the video if you'd like to. But can you tell the screen what's different about these questions? OK, let's have a look. And these conversions here. Well, there's something that you'll see that's slightly different here. And it's actually because 45 seconds is less than a minute and eight hours is less than a day. So doing those conversions actually involves finding out a, a fraction. So let's say 45 seconds um, is less than one minute. So there, I would actually need to split up my minute into, in this case, into quarters. So I'd have to think, well, 45 seconds, how can I break that down into a fraction? Um, so I, I know that half of a minute is 30 seconds, a quarter is 15 seconds. So actually... 45 seconds, that would be three quarters of a minute. And again, comparing eight hours and a day. Well, one day is more than eight hours. So doing that conversion, I'd have to think, well, a day is 24 hours. Eight is what fraction of 24? Um, and it is there, hopefully we can see, a third. Adds that little bit of complexity. So today's task, click that blue link underneath the video and it'll bring up these options. Task A, um, so here for each pair of each different colour circle the longer length of time. So for example is it 400 seconds or 5 minutes and do those other examples as well. Um, for part 2, 5 minutes is the same as how many seconds and the uh, other examples as well. Um, then task B is very different. So have a look at these lengths of time and order them from the shortest to the longest. And how do you know? Um, so have a think, which unit are you going to convert these into to see if you can, if you can figure that out? 
Um, which one do you think is the is the best to do that? Now, again, it could be that you've had a go at task A and you think, oh, I could have a go at task B, but I need a calculator. And again, that might be an appropriate choice for you. It's up to you. Um, the extend task, again, is a real is a really challenging one. Again, feel free to use a calculator for that one. You've got to think really deeply about this one. It's an extend, which is what is the date 400 hours into the new year. So the moment that it's new year and then 400 hours after that, what will the date be? Now, the extend to the extend is what will the time be? And how do you know? Answers are at the bottom. I hope you really enjoy this challenge and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.